Hey, hey, welcome back to the farm. We are going to be talking about setting our goals for eBay sales, finish or going into September, and then rolling on into the fourth quarter. Let's get it done. All right, back at the uh, storage unit, we've got one, two, three, four, five going out today. I think uh, they're all here except for one is in the closet back at the office. So let's go ahead and get these pulled and we'll talk about some other uh, goal setting as we get started in the month of September. All right, so first going out today is a Lincoln Outfitters men's extra large uh, shirt. It looks like that out, went out for $10.15 plus shipping. Uh, next up is going to be, we sold a hat, Ohio State Buckeyes college hat. Uh, that went for $4.94 plus shipping. That's kind of where I put a lot of my hats prices on, um, kind of a clear uh, discounted anyway, because these could go for a little bit more, but they've been around for a while. So we're happy to go ahead and get that one going. Uh, next up is we sold another pair of Ben Hogan shorts in the geo pattern. Uh, so I'm just about out of these as far as the new with tags ones. These are a size 34 and that one is going out at find it real quick I lost it uh, $10 $10 plus shipping all right so let's talk a little bit about goal setting whenever you're setting goals for yourselves we always need to remember the the rules of uh, needs to be reachable it needs to be realistic it needs to be um, you know within your ability to it needs to push you a little bit okay right you don't want to set a goal that you're gonna hit real easily you want to you want it to uh, push you to get things done so as you're looking at here we are first of september and really goal should be set for the month uh, before you get into the new month but sometimes that's tough to do when you're busy and and all of a sudden it's like oh i got to figure out what i'm doing here real quick so i didn't hit my goals from last month in august i came close i was a little short four or five hundred dollars uh short on total sales dollars and i think i was like 30 or 40 items i was trying to get a certain amount of items sold uh didn't quite get that but so what we're going to do since we didn't hit those goals uh we're going to reset in uh, uh, july we're going to look at july's numbers and we're going to basically what i was doing for august was trying to double july and i almost did it so we're just going to take uh this month and we're going to try to double up uh july again uh here in september and as we're you know starting to roll towards fourth quarter sales are starting to happen a little more often i'm going to look at it halfway through the month uh, get a feel for it and then if i need to bump up that goal because we're getting more sales uh, the summer drought is kind of over then we'll re uh what do i want to say we'll look at it again and recalculate uh where our goals are going to be all right last but not least uh for here at the storage unit uh, I've got one more item back at the office I'll show you as we go. But this is a one of my DVDs on sale, 99 cents plus shipping Highlander going out just trying to clear this stuff out of here. All right, here is our last item going out this morning. This is a pair set of pair, I guess, of a Bernie camouflaged um yeah, can't think. Of, I can't think of the word. My mind's going blank. Bib overhaul, however you want to uh, bibs, I guess. Uh, and these are actually a youth size. Uh, they're a bigger youth size, like the you know large 18, 16, 18, whatever it is. Uh, but these are going out for. Let's find out here real quick. This is um. This is actually part of my thoughts today on pricing, because. Uh, when I talked to Marcus, one of my coaches, the other day, and we were talking about pricing, and he was looking at some of my pricing stuff, he told me that this was underpriced. And with everything else I was doing that day and getting ready for this, that, and the other thing, I did not get in there and get the price changed on this one. And lo and behold, it sold at a little bit of a lower price, fourteen ninety four dollars plus shipping. Um, so... Got to get that, uh, you know, squared away on my pricing as I'm correcting things in the store. But as you're setting your goals for September and then getting ready to do stuff 
October, November, December for fourth quarter, pricing is going to be a huge part of the fix for you. You can get that light off the back of my head there. There we go. Uh, pricing is going to be a huge uh, step, a help, a tip, uh, whatever you want to call it for you as you're fixing your store and getting ready to to sell everything for fourth quarter. So make sure you're checking your comps as completely as you can with your items. It's like I missed a Nike hat the other day. Marcus corrected me on this one too. I think I talked about it in another video. Um, that hat should be you know anywhere between 15 to 20 bucks. I went ahead and relisted it at 20 bucks. I'd already had two offers on it, low ball offers because of the model of the hat, which I had totally missed when I did my title, not getting that model of that hat in there. So watch out for that when you're listing. Another tip uh, to make sure as you're listing going, getting through and you want to make sure you're getting the most money out of your items is hit the right category. I don't know if you have a store, you might have your own store category set up, which is fine. I do. Um, but that doesn't do, do a whole lot where you want the category to make the difference for you is the eBay category. And it's real easy when you're going through a bunch of stuff to forget to check what category is it throwing in? And a lot of time when you're throwing in your item specifics, you're going to catch it because it's going to be asking you for stuff that really doesn't pertain to the item. So go back up, check your category, make sure you're in the right category. And especially if you're correcting your listings as you go and doing some sell similars or whatever the case may be. So pricing, categories, of course, the main stuff, title, pictures. Uh, but uh, I would I would focus on those two things just to kind of get you going as you set up everything for your goals September and then going into fourth quarter. So, all right, guys, hope this content's been good for you. Uh, it is uh, Friday and uh, Memorial Day weekend. I got a cleaning gig to do tonight, and then we're free and clear. I'll uh, be doing some sourcing tomorrow, hopefully out of town. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to see what happens over the weekend. I don't expect a lot of sales to roll in just because it is Labor Day weekend. People are going to be out doing fun stuff. Um, Sunday night, Monday night is where you're going to see some more shopping, probably some more sales start to come in, uh, for, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, mm -hmm, shipping. So just be aware of that with like, don't be, don't be, uh, all excited and, uh, or upset that you're, you know, if you get all excited and it's like, where are all my sales? Well, it's Labor Day weekend, three day weekends like this, the last weekend of summer, people are out doing other things for fun and uh, they'll, they'll start doing the shopping thing in the evenings after they come in and uh, settle down for the night so uh, just keep that in mind as you go into go into your weekend and in the meantime have a safe and fun labor day weekend enjoy your time off if you are uh, taking time off from work and uh, yeah we'll go from there happy selling don't forget to subscribe